In this video, I will discuss about analog inputs. Any type of sensor, transmitter, instrument, these are analog inputs to the control system. The control system may be a PLC or DCS or any type of automation system, these are analog inputs. In industries, mostly all these analog inputs are based on 4 to 20 milliampere signals. Okay. We have a PLC and one computer. We will see some of the examples of analog inputs. For example, there is a motor and you want to measure the motor speed. This motor speed is also an analog input to the PLC and you will receive the signal in 4 to 20 milliamperes and it is AI that means analog input to the PLC. Also, some of other parameters related to motor are power consumption, current value, voltage value, frequency value, etc. You can take these values from electrical faders or variable frequency drives, etc. And if you have a control wall and you can take wall position feedback, that means how much the valve is opened. For example, 26 percentage the valve is opened, 70 percentage the valve is opened, or 40 percentage the valve is closed. Like that, you can take the control wall feedback. This feedback is an analog input to the PLC. See, this is a 4 to 20 milliamp analog signal and it is AI input, analog input. Okay. Also, we have many types of sensors available like temperature, pressure, flow, etc. These are all analog inputs to the PLC. And these also uses 4 to 20 milliamp signals. All these are analog inputs. And current voltage signals. These are also 4 to 20 milliamp analog signals, AI. I shown some of the analog inputs which are commonly used in the industries. There are so many variables available. Okay, all these are analog inputs. In the previous video, we discussed one example right which is level transmitter the same concept you can apply for all these instruments parameters all these use this same concept all analog inputs based on current signal uses the same concept let's say the motor speed is 0% zero rpm then the plc receives four milliamp signals okay let's say motor speed maximum is thousand rpm then the plc receives 20 milliamperes okay the zero scale is four milliamperes the full scale is 20 milliamperes your measurement may be in any range, any unit. 
that respect to transmitter or device calculates the equivalent current signal and sends that current signal to the PLC. The PLC already have configured with all these field instrument details. For example, the PLC is receiving the motor speed from this channel. Okay, then the motor speed which is 0 to 1000 rpm that range and other parameters related to specific device are already configured in the PLC. So the PLC knows each and every data. That is why whenever it receives this current signal it uses the pre-compiled data or already configured data and present live signal then calculates the respect to process variable. In this case, it is motor speed. So the motor speed will be calculated and it will be displayed on the computer. This is the concept for analog inputs. The same concept applies to any type of analog input based on 4 to 20 milliamperes. That is why if you have the basics, if you have the strong foundation about the 4 to 20 milliamperes, you have better grip over the system. You can easily troubleshoot the system. You can do the maintenance, you can do the troubleshooting, you can attend complex issues, you can solve the issues very easily. That is why you must know the basics. You must have the strong grip over the system. If we have a strong foundation, any system, it may be a new system to you, it may be a old system, you are the master. Okay, instead of following the procedures, simply following the procedures without knowing the basics, you are not at advantage. Learn the basics, you are the master. Simple. Thank you. I will meet you in the next video.